Up to now, you've learned how to identify workplace hazards and how to report them to your supervisor. In this module, we'll discuss the hierarchy of control measures that can be used to eliminate hazards from the work process altogether. It's 3 hours and 32 minutes until man begins the greatest adventure in his history. If all goes well, Apollo 11 astronauts Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins are to lift off from pad 39A out there on the voyage man always has dreamed about. So it is now before they go, as their gleaming vehicle sits poised and peaceful out there, that there is time, if only briefly in this busy morning, to think of those three men and the burdens and the hopes that they carry on behalf of all mankind. He flicked the horse with his whip, and we dashed away through the endless succession of somber and deserted streets, which widened gradually until we were flying across a broad, balustrated bridge with the murky river flowing sluggishly beneath us. Beyond lay another dull wilderness of bricks and mortar, its silence broken only by the heavy regular footfall of the policemen, or the songs and shouts of some belated party of revelers. A dull rack was drifting slowly across the sky, and a star or two twinkled dimly here and there through the rifts of the clouds. Holmes drove in silence, with his head sunk upon his breast, and the air of a man who is lost in thought, while I sat beside him, curious to learn what this new quest might be, which seemed to tax his power so sorely, and yet afraid to break in upon the current of his thoughts. We had driven several miles, and were beginning to get to the fringe of the belt of suburban villas, when he shook himself, shrugged his shoulders, and lit up his pipe with the air of a man who has satisfied himself that he is acting for the best.